Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like Diamonds, back again with my bro, Luke. What's up, dude? What's going on? Talking about the truth about shipping, in particular, shipping tackle, rods, reels, line, lures, slam shadies, whatever it might be. This has been a hot topic. We have 25,000 Insider members now. They make up the majority of people who are buying on our tackle store. That's fishstrong.com is the separate tackle store we have where all of our members get up to 20% off or more in some cases on every item in the store. And one thing we hear about from a lot of people is, wow, like it seems like some of the costs of shipping have, have gone up. And in some cases, yes, yes they have, uh, but it's clearly not just us. And so we wanted to talk about really just the overall problem that that everyone's seeing. And I'm going to share my screen real quick. And and I think one of the best things that we can do as leaders of this company and of this fishing club is to be transparent with you, right? Uh, I mean, it's what I wish all companies did with us. If there is a problem or things have to change, you wish people would just be, whoops, um, cancel. Whoop, I'm trying to cancel this meeting on me. Uh, would just be transparent and tell you, hey, what's really going on? So if you just do any Google search, and, and I'm going to show you legitimately like our cost to ship stuff so you know exactly what's going on. And we're going to go to some competitor sites and uh, just kind of ghost shop is the is the term where we'll just go see what's what's happening elsewhere but uh, if you just go type in amazon cost of shipping going up or crisis uh, this was uh, here from a year ago and it's gotten even worse here amazon shipping cost increased 57 percent year over year to reach a uh, 15 billion dollars amazon i'm gonna read that again amazon shipping cost increased 57 percent can you imagine if you had something in your business that increased in terms of a cost 57% in a year. Uh, and it was $15 billion. That's in one quarter. Uh, that is absolutely nuts. And you've also maybe noticed if you're an Amazon Prime member, things aren't getting to you as quick as they used to, right? And, and I don't know if you've seen it in your area yet, but now Amazon is actually giving you an incentive not to do this, you know, basically one or two day shipping. They're now giving you little credits and points, kind of like a reward system for not doing shipping so fast because it is hurting them big time. In fact, what did that article say? Uh, it's actually uh, outpacing sales growth. So the shipping costs are outpacing the sales growth as this pandemic, pandemic continues. It's absolutely nuts. So I want to be real straightforward right off the bat. We pass on the majority of our shipping to our members, meaning not all of it. We lose money on almost all transactions. We're losing a little bit of money to ship to you. Okay. And our, and our members, of course, get 20% off. Yeah, because we, we try to match it to the, the actual cost of shipping. So like the packaging and stuff, it's kind of in the noise. Obviously, boxes are can get expensive, but we just cover that. We try to make it so that our system will, will hit the exact amount it costs to ship. It's, it's impossibly perfect, but but that's our goal. And it's that's usually, what we check. That's yeah, it's usually check. pretty close because we, you know, we weigh literally every single item and have it tied into a, a pretty, a pretty awesome and robust system. Now there's other companies, I'm not going to name names, but they're names that you know, big names in the industry. They will charge you not just for the cost of shipping, but the handling, like the person and the boxes. And in some cases, they're actually making money on every shipping transaction that's under 75 bucks, let's say. So let's just say you see a company out there that says, hey, free shipping over 75. But if you're under 75, they're absolutely like sometimes doubling the actual cost of shipping and actually making money on the shipping to be able to basically pay for free shipping on the on the more expensive stuff. Basically what? Stealing from the poor to give to the rich? Is that it? Oh boy. Uh, but you see my point. And, and I'm not saying that's wrong or right. It, the industry does it. We don't. We try to 100% pass through whatever the true shipping cost is. And in most all cases, I mean, our P&L will prove this, we lose a little bit of money. So I'm going to go here and we're on the, the fishstrong.com. This is our salt strong tackle. I'm signed in. So you will see, you know, my 20% off. If you remember, you know what I'm talking about here. And uh, so you can see here's the public price of uh, the Minnow Z and then, then our insider price. And so I'm going to go click here and uh, let's just add, let's add a, a diesel to the cart. And you're going to see exactly what happens here in real life. And so it should be somewhere in that 280 to $4 range to ship one pack of, of lures, depending on where you are. So let's just check out. You can see there's my portal total. And uh, I'm going to say no to that. I know I'm dangerous with scissors. If you guys are listening, I'm walking through the process on our site to just buy 
one, uh, I'm getting rid of my address there, uh, to buy one lure, one pack of, uh, of lures. So it's old address. Uh, so you guys can show up there all you want. Um, so look at this shipping $3.27. You got the pack of lures and I can see, I'd be frustrated too. If I'm buying something that's four bucks and the shipping is three twenty seven, and then you got taxes, like you almost pay the same amount for taxes and shipping as you have. And I mean, it, it is frustrating. So I, I completely understand it. It's another reason, I guess, that all these companies are incentivizing you, including Amazon, it to buy more, to buy more than just, you know, one thing and not one small item. So this is obviously a unique situation. And for some of you who have seen, you know, our free lure offer in the past, uh, we've turned it off here recently. Uh, we, we ran out of, uh, of some of the lures, Slam Shady lures, but, you know, people said, oh man, I can't believe you're charging 287 for shipping. I mean, in this case here, and this ironically is within the same town, right? Our shipping department is in Winter Haven. This is a Winter Haven address. I mean, we're talking about us losing money just to ship it, not including the actual, actual packaging and or boxes. I mean, if you guys looked at the price of cardboard, all this stuff costs a lot of money. Now I want to go over here real quick, Luke. Um, not picking on any one company, but then again, we are because it's an easy one and, and, and they're big and everyone's probably shopped here. And this is Dick's Sporting Goods. So I went already and did the same thing. I bought the exact same Zemian Paddle Tail, $4.99. Of course, there's no discounts here because they don't have a membership like us. And look at this, the shipping to my same address, $6.99. So now we're talking about almost $12 to get one pack of lures. Uh, and to me, that's crazy. And, and it looks like this is coming from a Lakeland, one of the Lakeland stores, uh, not that far away. And so I'm, my guess is, I can't speak for Dick's because I don't know their backing systems, but they should have better shipping rates than us because they're a massive company. Uh, I, so I'm guessing they're making a little bit of money here to be able to pay, you know, the free shipping on, oh, here it is, $65 uh, or, uh, or more, at least right now. Sometimes it's 100, sometimes it's not there at all, depending on the season. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you because I don't think a lot of people realize how much it does cost to ship stuff. Uh, I mean, it is crazy to think one little pack of lures, which don't weigh that much, you know, are 350 ish or higher in some cases if you're sending it across the country just to ship it, just for basically the postage that does not even include the packaging in the labor. It gets really, really expensive. So I want to show some other examples here. Luke, I'll pull these up. Hopefully you can still see them. So this is the cost of one reel. Just so you guys know, and be completely transparent. Uh, so this is a, an order here uh, that just happened in a couple weeks ago. So this is a Daiwa Fuego. The person paid $6.40. This is what we charged the member six dollars and forty cents our charge this is first class usps with tracking it's priority mail is 767 so we lost what a dollar 30 just to ship that out so and when some people say man i can't believe it costs six dollars to ship a reel uh yeah we're losing money and that doesn't include how much does it cost for the box now luke for a, a real box um, I mean, some of those boxes uh, approach a dollar, um, so it, it all depends. But but also, I mean, some if they hit priority, you can get free boxes too. So that's why we try to we just try to assume that you know we'll just eat the packaging. In some cases we buy it, sometimes we get it free, and uh, we just try to get it as accurate as possible. As as we mentioned before, it's it's hard to be it's hard to be perfect because there's so many nuances on different different regions and all that fun stuff. But, um, but yeah, we just always want to make sure that it's never, it's never just totally off the mark. Yep. And, and we want this to be an open dialogue. This is not us preaching. This is us just being transparent. And, and at the end, you know, we obviously put all these videos uh, everywhere and on our blog, et cetera, that's the best place because it comes right to us versus YouTube. Don't post comments on YouTube because we probably won't get to them. But if you post on our blog, we, we want to hear from you. We want feedback because we've had some members who have said, hey, I don't mind if you charge me more on, on you know, a small item, like at 20 bucks or less or, or 75 bucks at less, uh, if I could get free shipping on the more expensive stuff. Um, you know, why don't you do what the industry does? And I don't know, we, we just felt weird making money on shipping. Uh, I don't know, it just, it just seemed kind of slimy. But we've had some people who have said, yeah, you guys should do it you know, I'll just keep buying more expensive stuff and always get free shipping. So 
we're down. We're down to listen. We we really just want feedback. We've had some other people that said, "Hey, why don't you lower the the discount? You know, the the insider member discount, the private discount we have, you know, from twenty down to ten or something, and just give free shipping on on everything, free you know priority shipping." Um, we're down to listen. Like we're up for anything. Uh, so this is this is definitely an an invitation for your opinion in a, in some dialogue uh, on it. So yeah. that's a that's a real keep going Luke. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say just our thought process for how we set it up was that we just offer really good discounts, right? 20% off or more in some cases uh, for, for all the products in there. And then we just try to just hit the shipping as close as we possibly can to be inaccurate so that it's just, it's kind of as fair as possible across the board um, where the, the free shipping um, offers over X amount where it becomes dangerous and, and where it becomes a little bit complex is when you start offering rods and like cast nets and that sort of stuff, because I mean, no company is eating the shipping for like a rod. Person. Right. And, but if, and if you look at the Dick's sporting goods or Bass Pro, if you look at their fine print, they won't, they don't do free shipping on rods. Um, I don't think anyone's doing that right now, just because of what's happened. So it used to be pre COVID. I mean, shipping costs have just gone up like crazy, just to get truck drivers and stuff, the cost of gas has gone up. Everything has gone up. And we've seen this all happen in the past year and a half, by the way. So there's been massive, massive, massive surcharges and all this stuff. So it used to be you could ship a rod for 19, 20 bucks, right? It wasn't, it still hurt, but it didn't sting. These are our rates. So, the, the, you know, we have a better deal than uh, just you going to UPS, like walking to a UPS store, they might charge you double this, by the way. And, and I know some of you rod builders, ha you do get it. You've reached out that, you know, you guys that, that make a few rods a year for friends and family. Yeah. I just paid $70 to ship a rod. I heard from, uh, from one of our members. That's crazy. But then again, UPS, it's almost like they're so like, they're so busy right now and can't get enough workers and drivers and same with USPS and FedEx. It's almost like they don't want these big oversized things. So look at this. This is, this is literally, and we blacked out the names, obviously, but we got a Texas one, a Maryland one, and a Georgia one that um, all went out here recently. And this is to ship a rod. This is, this is the actual cost. I mean, $35 and 75 cents. And you can see they're doing a surcharge anytime that you have a rod. So if it was like a travel rod that was just a foot or two, you wouldn't have this. But anything at six feet or over, basically with that, you know, the rod tube, you have to have a, a tall enough rod tube to, to safely pack it. You know, you're talking an extra 13, 12 to $13 surcharge just for that additional handling. And, and that's, no, that's not handling, or th this is just the actual cost of ships. On top of that, we have to eat the cost of the tube, which are about five, $6, sometimes more. And then the labor time to actually pack the tube and all the stuff in there, it really gets expensive. Rods are- This is, are this is their rods. handling. If you guys are listening, that it literally does says additional handling. So their UPS and FedEx are charging us an extra 12 to $13 for their handling of a larger rod tube just to ship it. So if you're listening and not watching this first rod to go to tech to Willis, Texas, $35 and 75 cents. We charge our members 30, just a flat rate. We eat the rest. And we've had some go as high as 50 to send them like all the way to California, by the way. So $35 is kind of like what we're used to eating. So we'll eat $5 and 75 cents, not including it costs about $5 just for a legit rod tube. It can be as high as eight if you get like the super thick ones and you don't buy enough of them. But we have to buy at least 500 at a time. And you can imagine, you've seen these rod tubes. Imagine 500 rod tubes showing up to your house. It is a ton of weight, a ton of space. And that's a whole different story. But there's so much more that goes into it. So $35, 75 cents is the first one. And this is just normal ground to residential, guys. Uh, the next one, $34.69 to Eatonton, Georgia, and then $33.39. So uh, these are some of our, our members here. You might even recognize who you are with these uh, addresses and zip codes, and uh, and we are eating it. So we're literally losing money uh, when we only charge $30 for rod shipment. And, uh, and it is why even you know the, the big boys, if you will, the, the Dicks and Academies and Bass Pro, very few of them will ship a rod for free. Even Amazon is changing some of the rules on oversized things like that for, uh, for Prime. You're going to continue to see some big changes just because the, these companies can't afford to do it. It is absolutely obnoxious how much it costs now to ship. And like I said, this all happened in just the last couple of, 
of, uh, of years. And so I, I wanted to bring your attention because I've, I've asked a few people and, and I've gotten on the phone with a few members and, and we always appreciate the feedback. It's incredibly valuable. You know, we want to know what's on your mind. How can we better serve you? How can we improve, improve things? And, and because this has come up, I, I usually ask the question, Hey, do you know how much it costs to ship just like that little three pound bag of chum, right? That's not an oversized item, right, Luke? So we have a thing called blackout chum. It's uh, it's just a little little bag. It's three pounds of chum. It's not that much. It's not like you know buying a massive fifty pounder. Just a little three pound. And I ask them like, how much do you think it costs to ship it? And what do you think their response is, Luke? Five dollars. Yeah, that's usually yeah four or five bucks. All right, let me pull this up here for you. Uh, no, that's not it. That was a different one. Now I gotta hold on. I gotta go find the sucker. Too many windows. Yeah, and, and uh, it's really it's, it was so high that we although the chum is amazing we, we basically have to stop doing it just because we we didn't feel right passing the the shipping charges on because it's just a lot of shipping for one for one item right it's not like a rod where it's like it's it's something that you expect to be expensive this is a, you know a, it's three pounds but it's still it's all packed pretty small and it's to the point where it just wasn't even economical where it would just um we're, we're basically having to at least we're going to be ending it for the the near future until this shipping stuff can get back in action um and so we still do have some if you guys still want to get that blackout chum we, we do have some we have some boxes ready to ship it we're just not going to be buying buying more of it um so once we're out we're out for the foreseeable future yeah and, and like luke said it was not because it wasn't working it's just because of the shipping stuff. So once again, very transparent here. This is from our back office. You can see blackout chum powder. If you're listening, uh, you'll see, uh, or you're here. I'm, I'm on our backend system showing uh, who bought it. So we obviously blacked out their name and we charge. So up here on the left, it's the product total. So it's $11.98 if you're a member. And then it was $5 flat rate shipping. It actually cost us ten dollars and 43 cents to ship this three pound chum and that was just from florida to texas even within florida it's 850 minimum uh we've seen it as high as 14 dollars to ship a three pound just i mean it's it's crazy it just comes in a little box and so you know i it makes you wonder how like how does it i mean that article is pretty hard hitting if you actually go read it I mean, it says that their cost of shipping is now outpacing their sales. Uh, that, that's like a freight train just like going towards a, a massive brick wall. At some point, something has to change. And I, and I think as much as I love Amazon Prime and I'm a member myself and uh, my wife and I get a lot of stuff on Amazon Prime, I, I have seen them. Obviously, when I first started, it was, you know, 97 bucks. Now it's what, 127 or something, Luke? Yep. Yeah, it went yep. up and... And, and now you're basically, like I got had to pay a little bit extra. I needed something quick. And so I had to pay a little, a little bit extra. Yep. Um, otherwise, you know, the, you're even getting incentivized to wait, you know, to do a slower, not the next day delivery. So they're, they're definitely feeling a, a big hit and, and they're going to be making more and more changes to help out. Yep. Um, and so where I was going with that is I think, you know, they've done somewhat of a disservice to anyone in e-commerce where everyone just compares the experience to Amazon. Now, now we are getting stuff out same day. And, you know, we have that ability where someone could pay a little bit more for same day. Our lifers now get that for free, you know, where we just, we, we try to send everything out same day to our top customers. And then obviously if anyone who pays for it, they're always at the top of the list and get out quick, but usually it's the next day. So if someone put an order in on a Tuesday, it's going out, you know, in the mail, like on a truck, a uh, Wednesday, uh, pretty awesome. So, I mean, we are competing with the big boys and not even Bass Pro, Dicks, none of them do that, by the way. So we are faster than, I'm pretty sure, and, and someone please correct me if I'm wrong, but we're getting stuff out faster than any other tackle store or big box store in the entire country. Amazon's the only one that that I believe can compete with us in terms of how quick we're putting stuff out. And we have a whole team. We do it ourselves because we outsource it. So you guys know we used to outsource it and eat, eat even more uh on on the you know overall fulfillment charges but no one seemed to love it as much as us no one seemed to care as much as us and uh, we wanted people who are just full-time who are all on board 100 percent love salt strong love you guys and bend over backwards to to make it right and to get stuff out super quick so we're doing it all ourselves here in winter haven florida and we got four full-time employees sometimes more 
depending on the the season or if there's some you know big holiday or something but four full-time people here are uh, sending stuff out every single day and usually getting out same day next day is is usually you know worst case uh scenario we've had a couple times obviously with the weekends because we don't work saturdays and sundays we like uh we believe family is important and we want our employees out there fishing and having fun and doing stuff with their families so we don't have them work on the weekends um but you know when they come in monday they're man they are sometimes a thousand orders backed up and they're just going a hundred miles an hour getting that stuff out and to make sure it's all all correct uh one thing that we have done and, and you'll see this ability uh, on our site more and more is the ability to come pick up. And I know, obviously, if you're not anywhere near Central Florida or even in Florida, for that matter, it, it's not as exciting. Um, at some point, we might have little tackle store pickups all over the place. I um, mean, that's how Walmart and Amazon, for that matter, all of them started. You start with one and then you have a whole distribution center. And so it's something that we're considering as tackle becomes uh, you know, a bigger piece of this, uh, of this fishing club. And we continue to get more exclusive items and continue to get, you know, just more different types of tackle, more rods, more reels, uh, more lures and, and hooks and, and all the other great stuff that we're selling over there. And, and as Luke mentioned, especially if we start getting into cast nets, rods, some of these things that, that do cost 35, $40 to ship, it just, it doesn't make sense to do it at that point. And uh, it makes sense to have a place you could pick up, or we might team up with other tackle stores, right? So if you're a tackle store owner and you're interested, I mean, we've discussed that internally, you know, where, where we just have some of our stuff, not like, you know, a $50,000 worth, but, you know, a, a decent amount of, of inventory sitting at some tackle stores in certain select locations where our members can come there and, and just pick it up for free. Uh, we love that because obviously we, we hate paying all the shipping costs. You used to see our credit card statement. I mean, it, it's, it is maddening how much we're sending to USPS and UPS and FedEx every month. So we'd love to get rid of it. Uh, I hate paying it myself and I hate losing money on it. And I also don't want to overcharge you, uh, our members, you know, just to be able to ship stuff out. I don't think that's fair either, even though we are given 20% off. Uh, I don't think that's fair. And, and I guess kind of one of the final pieces uh, that I think is important, just so you all know, is, you know, that that whole discount. I mean, there is a reason Amazon can do free shipping. Is they're, not, they're not having to discount their stuff. There's not that much margin. We're not at liberty to talk about margins, but in most tackle, this is not like some other things where there's 50, 60, 70 percent margins. You know, we're talking a whole lot less than 50. OK, let's just say half of that in some cases. And if we're giving away 20, you can do the math. There's not that much left uh, for us. And in many cases, I mean, we've had times where we literally lost money on the item just to get it out. Uh, but because we're a club and we're education first and we're community first, it, it doesn't sting as bad as it would if we were making our living off of a tackle sale. So that's how we're able to do it. Uh, and, and it's also, I think, how we're going to be able to, to continue to grow and scale the, the final thing that we want from you, as I mentioned earlier, is just feedback. Um, you know, the, the whole reason this club has got to 25,000 members is not because of me. It's not because of Luke. It's not because of our fishing coaches. Uh, yeah, we all played a part in it, but it's because of you guys. It's because of our members and our amazing audience. And, uh, and we love feedback. I, 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 it's interesting. I emails and I know you do too, Luke from members like, I feel bad even sending this. Cause I, I really like you guys so much, but I wanted to tell you about this and my experience. Like, no, we love that stuff. Uh, yes. It's painful sometimes to hear we, we drop the ball somehow, or we screwed up, but we love hearing it. That's how we get better. I mean, just same with an athlete who wants to be the best in the world. You have coaches, you, you take criticism. You're constantly looking at game film and looking at where you screwed up and where you can improve. So we absolutely love the feedback. And we'd love to hear from you on anything we could do to better this experience. But I also wanted you to know, because I, I just know in the back of your head, if you haven't shipped anything in a while, like the people I've asked about the chum, if they think it only costs three or four bucks to ship a three pound thing of chum, I, I wanted to be transparent and let you guys actually see our back end system that it costs $10 and 43 cents. And we're only charging five is a flat rate. And so we are losing money on this, uh, this stuff. In some cases, lots of money. Uh, and I just wanted to be very, very transparent on that and let all of you know kind of what the whole country is experiencing. So you're going to see this. I know Carol, Luke, what, it, what was it? It was some little club that she's a part of. 
but it used to do free shipping and they just finally had to cancel like guys we we literally are losing money to do this and we're now going to have to charge you know a minimal fee to to ship you your little you know mystery box whatever it is every uh, every month to just you know because it's 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 just not it's cost prohibitive at some point if shipping costs keep going up and up uh we just we can't continue to eat this and stay in business so um good news is we're not making any bad changes if anything we're going to find a way to pivot and go down so uh, i want to be very clear this is not a message saying hey we're about to charge more we're not uh we're just going to continue to keep charging what it is and losing a little bit until we hear from you otherwise with a different idea about hey changing up um the structure or maybe we do maybe everyone says hey guys we'd love for you to charge a whole lot more for items or, or um, uh, carts under 75 bucks and give us free shipping over 75. Some of you might say, hey, you know, why don't you guys get, I know uh, uh, one of our members, Derek, had said, why don't you uh, just move it down to 10% and have a whole lot more items and do free shipping. And so I, we're wide open. We love ideas. Uh, we love hearing from you. And, um, and please, 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 if you don't have something that you want public like on the blog then shoot us an email uh, i'm joe at saltstorm.com and, and luke is luke at saltstorm.com if you made it this far we, we'd love to hear from you and of course if you're an insider member you probably have our email address anyways but yeah hit us up we, we we'd love to hear any thoughts and if you ever want any kind of transparency on shipping we have no problem showing it um i mean because we we have nothing to hide we're really losing money on stuff so if if you have any questions on it uh, let us know. What are your thoughts? Like anything else? And and, and I was just going to say, and if if we do make a, a change based on feedback, right, we're going to leave it up to you, right? You're, you're the reason why we're here. And we want to make sure that we're just making you as happy as possible and, and catering this whole platform uh, to your needs and, and preferences. And so if we do, you know, get feedback and it's very clear that, okay, everybody wants to do this, which is a little bit different, we're going to be transparent on the change as well. So we want to just make sure that there's no surprises and, uh, just wanted to, to lay out what's happening uh, now, what we're doing right now, we're planning on to keep it the same. And then uh, if we hear feedback otherwise, then uh, we will definitely uh, be quick to, to change as well, just to make yep. sure that all as efficient as possible. And the final call to action is go over to fishstrong.com and start doing some shopping. Mm -hmm. you, you now will know that anytime that you're putting something in your cart and having to pay for shipping, it is the exact cost or less uh, than the actual shipping cost. And we do not charge for handling to reiterate, meaning we're not charging for the people here over here to my right that are actually shipping this stuff right now as I speak. And we're not charging for the overhead, this whole building or the air conditioner or anything like that, or even the shipping supplies. I mean, we also spend a fortune with Uline who provides bubble mailers and all, I mean, all that stuff just adds up. Uh, we don't ever charge for any of that. We've never made money on shipping and don't ever intend to. Uh, but as Luke said, we do want to hear from you. And if, uh, if, if, it ever does change, it will have to be a, a almost unanimous change where everyone's really excited about it. So hope that helps. Hope that clarifies, you know, just some of the questions that we continue to hear about shipping costs and the rising shipping costs. And I'm willing to bet you'll probably see some messages from even the big boys like Amazon over the next six to 12 months with some changes there. Either they're going to have to increase the cost of the Amazon Prime membership or they're going to have to start asking for you to pay for some shipping or have it go super, super slow. They just, they can't afford to keep doing what they're either doing. We're just literally losing money on, on many sales, especially those small items. I mean, you, you saw, I mean, Dick Sporting Goods is having to charge $7 to ship that small and we're at three something on a, you know, $3.99 cents item that you can better believe there's not that much margin in that thing. I mean, they literally be losing money to ship that out from my Amazon. So at some point that will all have to change. So hope that was helpful. Once again, shoot us a message, or if you can, if it's something that's just public and we all can benefit from, and we can answer the question publicly, we'd love for you to go to saltshore.com in the fishing tips section. You'll see this actual blog post. You might be on there right now and you can leave a comment at the very bottom. We'll come to us and we will get back to you. Otherwise we be out. Peace. Thanks guys. Stop, share, and...